Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. In this video, we will introduce the contents about the region. Alright, let's get started. A region is a specified area of space in the game scene, generally used to detect entities entering or leaving the space. We can create regions by clicking on the New Region button below the Game Resources view. Click on the button and then move the mouse to the Game Scene window. You can see a pink box following the mouse movement. We move the mouse to the desired location, and click the left mouse button to create a region. We can adjust the position and size of the region by using the Move and Scale tool in the top menu bar. You can also adjust the position and size of the region by filling in specific numbers in the Properties view on the right. Note that when the game is running, we cannot see the region in the scene. Therefore, when using the region, you can place some markers near the region to indicate the extent to which the region is located. In addition to the position and size, we can also set the perspective of the player entity in the region. For example, in the Properties view, we check the property, Enable Camera Rotation. Then adjust the properties of Rotation Time, Pitch Angle, and Horizontal Angle. Then, when the player entity enters the region, player entity's perspective will be rotated from the current angle to the specified angle within a set time. It should be noted that, when the player entity's perspective begins to rotate, it is impossible to stop the rotation until it ends. When we enable the region perspective property, we can set the perspective mode of the player entity entering the region. In perspective type, there are five types for us to choose from. The perspective parameters that can be adjusted will be different, depending on the perspective type we choose. Here, we choose Fixed Perspective to demonstrate the effect, as for the rest of the perspective types, please try them out in your own time. The field of view refers to the scope of the scene that the player can see. The larger the value, the larger the scope of the scene that the player can see. For the video camera coordinates property here, you need to set the map where the camera is located, since we only have one map, so let's choose the map 001. Then set the position of the camera in map 001. Here we set the Y coordinate higher. Let's run the game and see the results. As you can see, after the player entity enters the region, the perspective is fixed at the position we set, and the perspective is fixed no matter how the player entity moves. However, after the player entity leaves the region, the perspective will revert to the original perspective mode. During game development, we usually use regions to create portals, safe zones, and other features. Take the safe zone as an example, after entering the safe zone, the entity will not be able to take damage, but after leaving the safe zone, the entity can take damage. First, let's create a new buff. Check the entity cannot be damaged and the entity cannot be attacked in the battle properties. Then place a region in the scene and adjust its position and size. In the properties view, click trigger, Edit to open the Trigger Editor for the region. We start by creating a trigger when the entity enters the region. If you want to make the entity unable to get damaged in the region, then after the entity enters the region, you can add the buff we just created to the entity. Open the Action Execution list, and select the Add Buff to Entity node under the Entity node. The Entity Parameter connects to the, the Entity that enters the Region node under Current Trigger Parameters. For the Buff Parameter selects the new buff we just created. 
Uncheck limit the duration of the buff. The current logic is to add an invincible buff to the entity when it enters the region. However, after the entity leaves the region, it should not remain invincible. Therefore, we want to remove this buff from the entity after it leaves the region. Create a new trigger when the entity leaves the region. Also under the entity node, find the remove buff by types node. The entity parameter connects to the, the entity that leaves the region node under current trigger parameters. For the buff parameter selects the new buff we just created. After completing the logic, go to the editor, click run, and let's check out the results. As you can see, when outside the safe zone, the entity can be damaged, but after entering the safe zone, the entity cannot be damaged. And after the entity leaves the safe zone, it can be damaged again. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.